how to turn a 2D image into a 3D object using After Effects. This method works great for anything that has a square or rectangular shape. Buildings or containers are perfect for this. For this tutorial, I will use a hyperlapse that has a container in the center. If you want to follow this tutorial step by step, you can download the image of the container on my blog. The link will be on the screen and in the video description. Or you can just go to Google and download any image you like. So let's jump into After Effects. As mentioned before, I will create a 3D object of the container you can see in this hyperlapse. So the first step is to go to the position where I want the animation to happen, which is about here, almost at the end, so I have a large image of the container, and then go to Composition, Save Frame as Photoshop Layers. I will save this as a Photoshop file because I want to remove the logo. You don't have to do it, and I will also show you a way to do it without Photoshop. So let's save it and open up Photoshop, open, navigate to our Photoshop file, clear the guides here for a better view. The first thing I will do is I will correct the perspective so the edges of the container are perfectly straight. I will use Command T, right click perspective to straighten up the edges of the container. While holding Shift, I'm going to drag the corners to the middle, get in some guides again to make sure they are perfectly straight up. Right side too, looks pretty good to me. Hit Enter. After correcting the perspective, I want to remove anything but the container. Let's move the guides to the side again to see everything a little bit better. Create a selection using the mask tool, which meshes exactly the container or roughly, because we want to have it a perfect rectangle like this. Go to select, inverse and delete. Now we have the front layer of the container, name it front. And I'm also going to remove the logo and I'm going to fast forward this so we don't have watch me doing this. The logo has been removed and I just realized there's still a small white border on the front and on the right side of the container. It's really important to be really precise here and remove anything but the container. Use the mask tool again and just remove a little bit of the top of the container. The same for the side of the container like this. Now the front part of the container is finished. Now we're going to duplicate the layer, name it side to create a side part of the container. Hide the front one for now. Now create a selection with the mask tool which matches exactly the height of the container. By drawing the mask hold down shift so you get a perfect square. This is important so it's easier for you to create a 3D object in After Effects later on. This is gonna be our side element. Go to select, inverse and delete this one. Now you can see looks a bit weird and we're gonna add the border you can see on the left here to the right side as well and we just do this by duplicating this layer again command t and then rotating it by 90 degrees as you can see now we just did the same for the other way gonna just remove everything but the right side of the container put the two layers together merge them by hitting command e on your keyboard rename them tight again now we have two layers, the front layer and the side layer, as you can see right here. Go to File, Save and drop back to After Effects. In After Effects you want to import your Photoshop file now, so double click in the project panel, navigate to your Photoshop file, in this case Hyperlapse, open. Now we get an import line dialog, make sure to choose Composition, Retain Layer Size and Editable Layer Styles, click OK. You will get a pre-comp and I'm just gonna open it up so you have the two layers in here and see our front and side layer it's also named as i mentioned in the beginning you don't have to use photoshop for this and i will show you how to create the layers using just after effects for now the first thing we need to do is to correct the perspective so i'm gonna search for the power pin effect and apply it to my layer by drag and dropping then you can drag and drop the corners of your image until the edges are straight gonna put in some guides here so it's a little bit easier for me. Place them on the corners and keep moving the corner points until the side walls are perfectly straight. Let me zoom in here a bit. Okay that looks good. Now you need to pre-compose this layer because you changed the perspective. Make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. Click OK and now we're gonna mask out the container. Go to the mask tool or rectangle tool and create a selection around the container. Make sure to just include the container and nothing else. Don't include the bottom or the sky and you can see there's uh, some white border on the top. So I'm gonna move that one down too. Same for the left side and that's gonna be our main layer for the 3D container. 
Then you can move the guides away for an easier overview, duplicate the layer, adjust the mask to create the side layer. As I've mentioned before, make sure to create a square that matches the height of the container. To do that, I'm just gonna remove the first mask here again, create a new one so it's easier to create a square. Zoom in here a bit, hit Q or select the rectangle tool. While drawing the mask, hold down Shift so you get a perfect square. And now you have two layers. One is the side layer, and one is the front layer. Of course, you can do some more masking for the side layer, so you can duplicate it, turn it around 90 degrees, sorry, 180 degrees, position it on top here, create another mask over here to match the right side of the container. You just have to choose subtract in this case, then also pre-compose this one, name it side and move all attributes into the new composition. Ready are your two front and side layers with just using After Effects masks. Let's hide the side layer for now and make the front layer 3D by clicking this box here. Select the layer, you can see it's now 3D. How do you know that? You can hit R on your keyboard, see the rotation and see it's 3D. Make that all null again. And now to create our container, the first thing I will do, I will move the anchor point, which you can see right here, this spot in the middle, to the bottom of this layer. To do this, you can go up here, select the pen behind tool or anchor point tool, or just hit Y on your keyboard. Should have all the arrows visible, hold shift and move this point all the way down to the bottom of the layer. Once again, make sure to be really precise here. This is gonna be our front layer. Now we move the anchor point, we'll duplicate the layer for now, rename it bottom. As I mentioned, the layers are three now, so you can hit R on your keyboard to bring up the orientation. And we want to rotate our bottom layer by minus 90 degrees to the back. Type in minus 90 in the first field of the orientation here. And now we will change our view angle so we can see what we are creating. Hit one on your keyboard or go up here to this orbit around tool, move it around and you can see we created the bottom of our container. You see how this 3D space works minus 90 is what we need here. It's gonna be our bottom layer to create a top, duplicate the bottom layer, rename it top, scroll in here a bit, make sure the selection tool is selected, move the bottom layer all the way up. When you do this, really make sure to position it very precisely on the edges. So zoom in here if needed, and you can control the camera with one on your keyboard, and you can see it's still missing some height. You can see some corner over here, so I'm gonna move it up a little bit more, look around, Looks pretty good to me. Zoom out again. That was our third layer. Now we're missing just the back part of the container. To create this one, we're gonna duplicate the front layer, name it back, and move it all the way to the back by moving this axis over here. Same as before, zoom in and work as precise as possible. You can also go down here and select different camera angles. I'm gonna use the left one for now. Now you see the 2D layers in 3D space. Your goal will be to make a perfect square. You can see here, you can move it a bit. Deselect, see there's some little corner, move it over again, still some space, move it over again. And this looks pretty good. Go back to our active camera and with the orbit tool, you can look around and see our container is almost done. We are just missing the side parts. To create the side parts, make the side layer visible, turn it 3D. And as you can see, it's placed in the same spot as the Photoshop file. So we need to move it down here. You can also change the camera to front to make sure you're working precisely here. Move it up until it matches our front layer. Go back to our active camera here. And then for this one, we need to rotate it around here. But as before, to make this easier, we're gonna move the anchor point around with the move tool over here, pen behind tool, anchor point tool, or hit Y, move it to the left. And now you can just type in minus 90 here, the side will be perfectly placed. All right, now we're missing just one side, which is over here to create this one, duplicate the side. It's already 3D, so the only thing we need to do is to move it all the way to the right by dragging this blue arrow here. Before, make sure you're working really precise. So zoom in here, make sure to close this gap. I still see a small gap, so move it in here a bit, zoom out again, ready as our container. For easier controls, you can do one thing. You can create a null object to control this container. So go to new, 
null object. First thing we need to do is make it 3D. Also, I want to place it directly in the middle of this container. You can do that by some fancy expression. I'm gonna show you the easy way now. Go to the front camera with the move tool or hitting Y, move the anchor point to the middle of the container, holding shift, position it as precisely as possible in the middle. Go back to our active camera. You can also use the number keys for that. Select the null object again. Now we need to position it from the left. Left camera again, you can see the null object is in the front. Move the null object right to the middle. Looks good to me. You don't have to be exact here. You can just roughly place it. Go back to our active camera. And then we're gonna select all of our container layers and parent them to the null object. You can do that by pick whipping the layers to the null object, select all layers, choose this pick whip of the first or any other one, drag and drop it to the null object. Now we can see if you modify any of the null object's values, the container will move accordingly. This way you don't have to change any settings for all of them. And what's also really important is the object rotates around the center point, which makes it easier for animating later on. And anything else that you change in the null object's properties will be applied to the other layers as well. So we can change the scale here, position, rotations, whatever you need for your animation. So there you have it. By following these simple steps, you can turn any 2D image into a 3D object in After Effects without the use of any plugin. Here are some things to remember. Keep the image clean and the edges well defined. Make sure to position each layer precisely so there are no gaps visible. Also make sure to experiment with different animation techniques to bring your 3D object to life. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button, follow for more tips and tricks, and maybe share this video with someone who should learn this technique. Thanks for watching and happy creating.